hope goes a long way to somebody who has none. I've seen it. Hope. That's what this lifestyle does. It gives you hope. You're stronger than you've ever been in years. That's hope. And who doesn't want to continue doing what makes them feel amazing after they thought they were over the hill? That's what this lifestyle does. Hope. Neurofibromatosis is the disease I was born with. Most people hear it referred to as NF1 or NF2. And what NF does is it causes tumors to spontaneously form along your peripheral nerves, anywhere in your body without notice. My doctor basically told me that I'd be blind by 18. Um, this would probably lead to cancer. Don't look for too much in life. NF people develop slower than other people. They kind of set me up to don't expect too much um, from my life. After she died, you know, my life took, man, a downward spiral that most don't come back from. I dropped out of school, I joined the street gang, I started selling drugs, I did everything you're not supposed to do. So how I would deal with my mother's death is I would get a pile of drugs and get obliterated just to numb the pain to get through those few days. But I'm in a better place and it's because of this lifestyle. So for 35 years, I've watched the NF community battle our disease. And nobody, there's no success. There's no thrivers. We have survivors, but surviving to me, you can be plugged into a machine. On life support, you survived. Thriving means that you got sick and you came out the other side better than you did when you went in. That's what I wanted. And if I couldn't have that, I didn't even want to subject myself to what everybody else did. So what I did is told myself, when it's your turn to fight cancer, you're not going to do anything that everybody else did because you have nothing to lose. So when I got diagnosed, they basically said, you're, you're, you're done. Nobody in history has, you know, lived with this type of diagnosis and you should probably get your affairs in order because six months is what you're looking at. And that broke me for about three minutes. To sum it up, I had to give up everything I love, meat, dairy, yeast, and sugar, and had to learn how to love things that taste like dirt for the first four weeks of one's transition. I'm not gonna lie to you and tell you that if you decide to do this, it's not gonna be turbulent in the beginning. It's probably the most difficult decision I have ever made in my life, going from a 10,000 calorie diet to maybe a 4,500 calorie diet. That is all plants, seeds, beans, and cruciferous vegetables. You never could have told Meathead that he would be reduced to eating boiled nuts for the rest of his life. So that's about an 18 inch bicep that has no meat in it, has no dairy in it, has no sugar in it, and there's no bread in it. All that this is is pine nuts. All the plant-based lifestyle does is detox the 20, 30, 40 years of reckless lifestyle behavior 
and return you to a younger state. The only reason I'm here today is because of my new mindset. What does that mean? That means that I've removed all negative people, places, and things from my space, my fitness, which is training to live, which is a mindset as well. Where I get up every morning, even if I don't feel like training, and I never feel like training because I'm in pain 24 hours a day. But I don't have an option to not train because all we know is six years ago, this was my care plan and I'm here seven, almost seven years later. And then you have the nutrition component. And that's one of the most important components. And that's what these plants and these phytonutrients do in your blood to fight free radicals and keep the cancer at bay, keep it happy. Without those three things firing at the same time, I do not exist and I would not be here and I can't reiterate that enough. Fitness, nutrition, positive mindset over everything. Fitness, nutrition, and positive energy. This journey has showed me that man is not in control, okay? Because I was given six months to live in January 2012. I am in the best shape of my life. I turned 42 in a few months. And that's because everything is possible. Everything is possible through the plant-based lifestyle. Everything is possible through positive energy. Everything is possible when you put out what you want to get back. I truly believe that with every fiber in my being, that if you put your mind to it and your heart and intention is righteous, it can happen for you. I've been all the way down before cancer. I come from absolutely nothing. And I stand before you in the best shape of my life and this journey has took me around the world twice saving lives. You're not going to tell me about possibilities. I'm what it looks like. I've spoke in a jail and I've spoken in Congress. It doesn't matter. Everything is possible for everybody and I'm the proof.